is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. <laughs> Today's topic, changing matter. Oh, I can't finish it fast, as it is melting. Oh yes, mine is melting too. Why is this melting? Let me show you something. Why have you brought me back? Let's find out the secret why solid like ice cream melts. Oh, secret! But then, these are ice cubes. Yes. It is called the secret of molecules. You know, everything is made of molecules. When you heat molecules, they start moving faster. Then what happens? Let's enter the world of molecules to see this. You know, these molecules in solid are tightly packed. And they don't go out, but they're not fixed. They keep moving. They come near to each other and then again go away. Like saying, I'm your friend. And no, I'm not your friend. Like you and me. Yes, but when it gets hot, they start moving away from each other. And you know, when molecules are far from each other, what happens? Yes, matter becomes liquid. Yes, it is also called melting. Eh, eh, melting. When molecules in solid becomes a bad, it turns into liquid. Now, still we are heating the liquid, so molecules are moving faster. Some of them are coming out. We can see them, but they are forming a gas. So, when vapor comes out of liquid on heating, it is called evaporation. Vapors! Vapors! Evaporation! Now, let me show you something. Oh! Vapors are again becoming liquid! Yes, because the temperature of the cover is cooler than the temperature inside the pot. So molecules again start coming close to each other. This is how rain happens. When water vapors touch a cool surface, they become dense. They come close to each other. It is called condensation. Eh, eh. Very good. You're writing all. Wow, Jimmy. Do you know we can turn this liquid into solid? How? Just wait. After some time. Oh, it has turned into solid again. Yes, the molecules again become slow and come closer to each other and it becomes ice and solid. It is also called freezing. Oh, these molecules are like us in cold. We want to sit close to each other. Yes, you're right. In summers, we sit apart. Freezing on cooling liquid molecules come together and it becomes solid. Let me note down what happens to molecules when they are put in cold temperature. Thank you, Jimmy. Let me show you something. Oh, this grass is so wet in the morning. Yeah, there is a lot of dewdrops on the grass. Dewdrops? How these are formed? It is condensation. Condensation? Yes, when air is full of water vapors and it touches the grass, which is cold, water vapor condenses and they form water vapors. Oh, when grass leaves, are cooler than air, the water in the air condenses 
and water drops appear on the grass. Yes. Dear drops, have a little condensation. Please give me a chocolate. Oh, it's all melting. Yes, it seems it melted because of the heat. Yes, because of the heat, molecules in the chocolate started moving away from each other and they became liquid. Oh, that is why my mama tells that we should keep chocolates in the refrigerator. Yes, that way molecules in the chocolate remains close to each other. <coughs> Did the heat melting happen? I know why they keep clothes outside for drying. Oh, you have understood. Please tell me. On sunny days, when the sun is hot, a lot of heat comes. Due to heat, the water molecules in clothes start moving away from each other. Yes, and the water turns into gas, which is called evaporation. Eh, eh, clothes dry and sun due to evaporation. If we can learn this well, we will know all the reasons of change in matter. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <coughs> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.